Alright, what's going on guys today is Shots and today I'm bringing you a really quick uh, bit of a different video if you're usually subscribed, if not, that's alright. I've been dealing with this issue for ages, I couldn't play the beta because of this issue and I ran into it again unfortunately, but I've worked out how to fix it. Well, I didn't entirely work it out, but I'm going to credit how I ended up coming to a solution so you guys can actually get stuck in a Black Ops 4. So, there's this website you're going to be seeing on the screen now called Game Revolution. Uh, they have posted an article on how to fix it, uh, they've got steps and whatnot, um, but didn't actually work for me, so, but you can try their steps and see if it works, like, links will be in the description, um, you can see if just, if that works, if not, I ended up just clean booting my PC, um, and I'll leave a link in how to do that in the description as well, and pretty much this is still disabling everything on the startup, menu for Windows when you open your computer and because most time if you, the error code you're getting is like you're trying to start it up and it's asking if you want to go into safe mode and you say yes or no no matter what you do it crashes it's most likely a program interfering with the Black Ops starting up or Battle.net so I actually ended up disabling everything on my startup and now Black Ops works for some reason so I've got to still work out what programs interfering with the Black Ops starter, but for now I'm just happy to play the game as it's the first time I'm able to play it. So I'm just making this quick video to let you know for other people who were struggling because I know I was getting pissed when I couldn't find an issue or a way to fix this. So if you do enjoy this video or I did help you out, let me know, leave a comment. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe and drop a like if this was helpful. So thank you guys. Alright, see you in the next video.